I brought home my goats and a long time ago. I mean, doesn't 10 years seem, 10 years ago seem like forever? <laughs> and sometimes I don't think I'm, I can't possibly be that old, right? <laughs> video is going to be a tutorial on an easy and quick way to give copper boluses to your goats. So I brought home my goats and they were just weathers. They're, they, they're awesome. They were just awesome pets. But then I started to grow my herd and I, I didn't stop at just that. I wanted my goats to, I wanted to grow my herd. I wanted to raise goats. I wanted goats for milk. I wanted to sell the kids. And then as the years then progressed into that, I began to notice that my herd health was declining and it was alarming. Like, what is going on? You know, they have good food. They have, they have minerals. What's going on? And then, you know, it's just, I was like trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. And then I, I, it, I realized that it was actually my water source that was causing all the problems. Our water is very high in sulfur and iron. And I, after lots of dialogue with my vet and different people trying to figure it out, finally dialed it in. It was the water that was causing my goats to be deficient in copper. Those minerals bind the mineral copper from absorbing into their bodies. And I didn't know that, it didn't occur to me. But now that I think of it, of course that was what, you know, it makes sense now, now that I finally get what is going on. And, and so, you know, it's, it's alarming when your animals are sick, when they're not doing 100%, and, and you know your animals, you, you can just tell what's going on and you can tell that they're not doing well, it's scary. And with the goat, they are so strong and they are so hardy. They, 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 you know, you get the impression when you, before I got goats, you know, you hear that they, that they, um, you know, eat tin cans, they'll eat shirts, you know. And so when you hear that, you almost think that they're indestructible. But that's not true. Goats are very sensitive and they can very easily and quickly get sick. It's like goats are so strong that they can muscle through their problems until they just can't do it anymore. And then once that point hits, then it's downhill very quickly. They get very sick very quickly. And that is scary because you can walk out, you know, and feed your goats one night and then the next morning you, you come out and one of them's sick and you're like, what happened? What is going on? Copper deficiency, you will notice it in several ways. Their coats will begin to lack luster. They will begin to, like, they'll just not look shiny. Their hair will be kind of wiry. I almost picture, like, you know, like a pig, how they've kind of got that wiry, weird hair. That is kind of what you'll see. Their, their, their hair will just be not glossy and smooth like it should be. And then you'll also begin to notice their tails. The end of their tail, the tip of their tail will get. Um, kind of bald and they might also get like a fish tail to like where their end of their tail will kind of split off and kind of have a fork to it so those are some of the things that you need to be like visually looking for when you're looking at your your goat herd you'll also maybe noticing things in your pregnancy difficulty in getting pregnant or uh, that that they're having a lot of worm problems or because the, the copper is a vital in their ability to fight off their worms and those are things that you need to be always looking for when you're out with your goats you need to be watching visually looking for those those symptoms and those signs and when you see them you need to be doing something immediately but even more than that you need to be preventing this you need to be preventing sickness in your goats from the beginning so you need to continually and always have loose mineral out for your goats always and it needs to be loose mineral the minerals that are put into uh, like the, the lick tubs goats 
tongues are not designed to lick a hard lick tubs like that. They have soft tongues. A cow's tongue is very hard and it can lick those lick tubs. But a goat will, their tongue is just not made to lick something and they will not be able to get the nutrients that they need. So a loose powder is very, very important. Another problem with having a lick tub or a mineral block is that goats love to climb, don't they? They will climb on them and they will then uh, poop on them, pee on them, get them dirty, and once they're dirty, they will not touch them. So that's another thing to think about. You also need to know your area. You need to know what, and you'll need to talk to somebody, a goat person in your area already that knows, or to go to your extension agent and ask them. You need to know what your soil in your area what it is deficient in but sometimes that isn't the final end <coughs> problem because our area is not necessarily deficient in copper but our goats were suffering from a copper deficiency and so what it came down to with me was the water source our well water was so high in iron and sulfur that it was causing problems in my goats and their ability to absorb copper so these copper boluses are made in such a way that when they enter the goat, they settle down in the rumen and settle to the bottom of the rumen and it's a slow release. So they're not getting copper, a huge amount of dose of copper all at once. It's slowly releasing over time. And that is important to know because it is possible to overdose on copper. Your goats can get too much copper, but these, uh, are put together in such a way that it, it slowly releases and won't give them a huge shot of copper all at once. So you need to know your area, know your water source, and know that your goats are getting the proper nutrition in every way possible with their hay and their minerals and in the grass or hay pastures that you have them on. Not all goats like this method. I have two goats that would be Faith, uh, my bottle baby here. <laughs> She's just obstinate. Uh, she doesn't like this method and so I do have to force her to eat it. And then her doling, her um, daughter from this year, she doesn't like it either. So we are slowly trying to um, introduce it to her and so she actually does like it. But the other goats lick it up like, like it's candy. They love it. I'd like to give full credit to the organic goat lady, Megan. She is the one that, that introduced this to me and I'm so thankful because it really is just an easy way for your goats to get their, their copper bolus. This video is an awesome tutorial on how to give copper boluses to your goats the easy way. Let's watch. I have been meaning to do this forever. I just haven't gone to the grocery store. It feels like a really long time. So I finally got bananas for us and for the goats. And so I need to copper bolus them. So I'm gonna do that now. And you know, thankfully all of them, but I think one love bananas. So they'll just and eat it up with no problem. So it's, this is a really super duper cool way to give copper to your goats. So I'm gonna get it ready and give it to Kira. And so you just basically put a, a hole, like you dish out a hole in there, and you just open up the, the boluses and dump them in the, the middle. Um, and it'll look like that. So, and then I'll top it off with the, the banana, like the piece that I cut off here, I'll just put that back on as the lid and then give it to them. So it's really a cool way to do it. Put the lid back on. Behind me here. Kira knows I have bananas. She's like, I want my bananas. So here's the lid. I'm just gonna let her out. And give it to her. Look at how easy that was. You know, she's eating it. It's good, huh? You better hide the rest of the bananas or she'll, she'll eat them. Huh, Gira? 
So I'll do that for the rest of the goats and get them done. We even have like save our banana peels and like they'll even eat the banana peels. So they eat. and it's a good way to like train them to like them. Cause like Faith doesn't like it and Giraffe doesn't, and they need to get them so that they do like it. <laughs> so there you go. No more for you though. No more for you. I'm armed and ready. Uh, I've got the ones for my other ones and I'll probably have to force Faith and hold her mouth shut while she eats it. We'll find out though. hold their mouth shut until you know they finished it and swallowed it. I think she just likes to be obstinate, honestly. See, like that. And do watch their back teeth. Their back teeth are so sharp. You gotta watch. I think you're just a speaker. Yes, I do. I think you're a speaker. Do you get it all? <coughs> oh, <coughs> do you do? But I got some more for you guys. you know how terrifying it can be. It is alarming and scary and so nerve-wracking. This is one way that you can bring peace and know that your goats are getting the copper that they need. Just be sure to always be watching for symptoms. Know your area. Know what you're putting in your goats and you can have full confidence that you will have a healthy herd. Good luck. When you're giving your goats what they need to be healthy, you can have a clear conscience, you can have a, a full heart, and just a sense of peace and relief that your goats are healthy and that, that you're doing what you can to prevent sickness and disease in your goats. We do need to continually know what's going on in our goat herd and we need to be absolutely ready to act when our goats are sick. But more importantly, we need to be preventing sickness in our herd. And this is one way that we can do that by giving them the copper that they need.